good morning welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are having an amazing morning an amazing day an amazing evening whenever you're watching this video i hope you guys are making the best of the current situation now let's talk about valentine's day how did the sales go for you all this valentine's day i hope you guys either sold everything or almost almost get rid of you know getting rid of your items i just hope it was very successful for you all as it was for me i kid you not y'all i don't know what the heck happened okay last year i remember last year valentine's day i <clears throat> excuse me i was in Walmart's parking lot. Walmart, I, I mean, as soon as you go into Walmart, I'm right at the front. As soon as you go in the parking lot, I wasn't like up front by the door. I was way down to the end. And it was awesome. For Mother's Day, it was also awesome. But for Father's Day, you know, fathers doesn't get the recognition they deserve, but for Father's Day, I was still at my same spot selling and, well, I was bold. I didn't ask um, Walmart if I could sell in their parking lot. I just opened my car trunk, <laughs> put my tables out and start selling. But a police officer came by and, and I think the reason why he came by, I'm just talking about what happened last year. Then I'm going to come back and jump into this year's sales. I think what happened, a lady came and she set up shop almost right beside me. But she was selling like um, clothing stuff, wraps and stuff like that. And she had a little tent. And then she had one of those rolling, rolling, I don't know what you call it, garment thingy where you, you know, like when you go to the hotel and they, the bell have put your stuff on that rolling thing that have, um, you could put like, like hanging your clothes on. You know what I'm talking about that thing she had one of those with all her apparels hanging on it and it was like you know african stuff so you know the colors are loud and all of that stuff so i guess that's what brought the popo over he came over and he asked her you know if she have pay you know permit to sell she didn't i had so i showed him mine he said it's mine is all good and everything but i'm supposed to sell outside of the city limits and where I am is within the city limits. So he's going to ask me to move. So I said, okay. So I packed my stuff up and I left. Even though Walmart was the best location. Because last year, they sold out of everything. And I was getting the sales. So revert now to this year. To Sunday. Not Sunday, Wednesday. I said to myself, I am not going back to Walmart. I'm going to find a different spot. So I went to, a, I think it's a, sh it's not a shell. It's a QT gas station. And I went inside and I asked the manager if I could, you know, sell some stuff and I won't be messing with the, you know, his customers and stuff like that. It was like, okay. So I was there um, Saturday and I was also there Sunday. Good. Sales went well. So the day of Valentine's Day, which was Wednesday, I went back and I set up shop and I was there, you know, selling and stuff. So another guy came out. And he was like, oh, you cannot sell here. So I said, I asked Christian, that's his name. I said, I spoke to a Christian and he told me it's okay. And he's asking me, Christian who? Because I remember I look at the guy's shirt and it says Christian. And he was saying Christian who? So it looked as if they have more than one Christian. Or he was trying to see if I know what I'm talking about. Christian, Christian who? I said, Christian. And he Christian who I said, look, his name is Christian. Why are you asking me Christian who? How the hell would I know what his last name is? His name is Christian. Oh, well, I am above him. So I'm like, dude, why are you asking me what's his name? And you're above this guy. Just say I'm above this guy, X, Y, Z, so I could move. So I moved. So there was this lady who, um, who spoke to me, like, I think it was the saturday before about you know she wanted to sell 
items that she had. I thought, I believe she had like, um, to tell you, I believe it was like some little candy bouquet. It wasn't any gift baskets like what I have. So I'm like, look, there's a lot of money to be made. I don't care where you set up shop. If you want to set it up, I, said, I don't care. A lot of people have, pro I don't care. Okay. I said to her, you could, you know, she was a little bit shy in selling her stuff. So I said, you know what, you know, if you want to set up by me, you know, it's okay. So she messaged me, um, Tuesday night and said, she's going to take me up on my offer and whatever. So I'm like, okay. So she was out there with me on, um, Sunday, but you know, as, as of, of course it was Super Bowl Sunday, but she didn't set up anything. You know, she was, you know, a little bit shy, whatever. So any whom she asked me, as I said, she asked if she, if she could come and set up with me. Okay. I said, yes. So the day of Valentine's day, I was out at the gas station doing my thing. She came, she hadn't set up yet. She was just there. That's when the guy came and said, we have to move. So I said, we're going to go to another gas station, which has been closed for a while. It's a huge gas station. And I'm like, it's at a prime location. It's right at the intersection four-way intersection there's you know where the stoplight is so any cars coming from either four corners will be able to see that we are selling there so she put you know her stuff to tell you i don't know what she was selling i to my understanding it was some little trinket looking thing but anywho i was there another lady was there when i looked down the other corner the other block another lady was there but as Jamaicans would say, me not listen to the, the noise of the market, all me I look for me correct change. In other words, I don't care what is going on beside me, what you are selling. All I'm doing is selling my stuff for the people who don't understand what I'm saying. That's what literally it meant. So, you know, it went well. That gas station has been closed for a while. And as I said, it's in the prime location and everything went well. So now, let's talk about sales. Y'all, sales were off the charts. I am telling you, this is what I have left. When I was down to 10 baskets, I said, you know what? I am going to go home and or send my brother home to get some because my brother was out with me and my mom. So I sent my brother home. He got some more gifts and he brought them back. And I kid you not, I didn't realize I made so many baskets. Because if you have watched videos previously, I was out of the country for Christmas. So I came back like after the first week of January and that's when I started doing baskets. So what I did is when I get home in the afternoons or nights, whatever the case is, I started doing, making a few baskets on my days off, same thing. And... I didn't realize I had so many baskets because I lost count when I was at the first time I counted the baskets, I was at 165 and I'm like 165 baskets. And the reason why it went up so fast is because most of them, I just put them into a gift bag. I, you know, it wasn't like a time consuming thing where I, wrap them and all of it all of that stuff i just put them into the bags as you see right here so i was able to do a whole lot so as i said i wasn't you know counting but when i did starting to count it was a hundred i said as i said 160 something and i'm like but i had more items and i'm like okay i'm gonna keep doing baskets because i know valentine's day is one of my biggest sellers valentine's day valentine's day and mother's day i think they go neck to neck but i think valentine's day is bigger where i'm at that's where i make most of our sales so when i realized i was at a, I was at a hundred and something baskets i'm like you know what i'm just gonna go ahead and just do what i have to do if you know worst case scenario if i don't get these things sold i try not to do it you know valentine's day for instance this one you know, nothing on here that says Valentine's Day. Nothing on here that says Valentine's Day. I think the only thing is like the tag. This tag doesn't say Valentine's Day. I I know I have some tags that says Happy Valentine's Day. Um, let me see if I could. Uh, 
I had a few tags that said Happy Valentine's Day. So with those, I know I have to change them. So as I said, 160 something um, gift baskets, bags, slash cups, mugs, whatever. So I continue to make baskets. I was over 200 baskets. And then I'm like, hold up, hold up. I need to make a count. So I, including all these little cups and little thingies, I started counting. Guys, I was at 250 gifts. 250 gifts and I still had more. And I was, as I said, I was, you know, contemplating, should I keep going? Should I make it up to 300 baskets? And I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to count from the, then on. I'm just going to make baskets. If I don't feel like making baskets, I won't. To tell you, as I said, I was at 200 and change. I stopped counting. So I don't know if I made over 300 baskets or it was under 300. But as I said, when I reached 250 something, I stopped counting. So this is what I have left. I have that first trip that I met, I was sold out of, the, of those items, sold out. My first, first items I brought out, sold out. So this, I sent back for some more and my brother brought them back. And what I have left over is two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 22, 24, 26, 27, 28, 29, and this one, 30, 31. I have 31 gifts left over, 31. And as I said, I was at 250 when I stopped counting and I have 31 baskets left over you all. <laughs> oh my god i let me tell you guys if you let me leave it alone guys let me know what you guys did let me know what your sales look like what was going on that day you know if you guys sell everything just let me know what just leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know how your sales were for valentine's day I thank God for my mom. I thank God for my brother. I thank God for my family because without them, I couldn't have done it by myself. Because at one point when I was out there, I had like five persons because after I left the gas station and I was in the empty gas station parking lot with, you know, like three more, two more people almost next to me. I had like five people at my table because they weren't selling what I was selling. Okay. As I said, the first one of the ladies, she was selling some little trinket looking stuff. And the, there was another lady selling baskets, but it was like stuff that I have in my basket. So people actually came over to my table. And as I said, at one point, I had like five people at my table. And, you know, as I said, if my mother wasn't there, if, even though the items are right there in the baskets, and as you can see, for example, this one, I have the price written on it. It's in the window. You could read and see what's in there. And I'm like, okay, they're like, okay, I want this one. Some of them was like, I want this one, but I don't want this beer. I want this beer. So, it, you know, there are some of them. I actually switched the beers. This lady, this guy, he didn't like the unicorn that was in one of them. He wanted one of these little beers. So stuff like that. I was going back and forth doing stuff like that, which I... I don't know if I'm going to ever do this again where I switch beers. If you want this basket, you get this basket. I am not switching anything, okay? Because as I said, I had like five people there and going back and forth watching this one to make sure that this... I'm not saying they're thieves, but I'm just watching to make sure that nobody's stealing none of my baskets. So it was a little bit hectic. So again, thanks to my mom, my brother who was out there helping me, you know, keeping an eye on things, helping me do the sales and all of that stuff. At one point, I was like, Ma, <clears throat> I, I was putting <laughs> putting cash everywhere. When I say everywhere, not in my bosom like grandma does. No. But um, I made a lot of sales via Cash App, um, Zelle, Apple Pay, 
this lady was a couple of people asked if I take credit card and all of that. I don't take credit cards, even though I have the square reader, but you know, I have to, I think I'm going to set it up where I take credit cards. I might do that. Yeah, I might. I don't know yet. That's a whole nother video, but you all, I'm, I'm, I just hop on here to say, I hope you guys did well for Valentine's day, whatever your sales were. I hope it was what you guys expected. Remember you all mothers Easter is on the 31st of March. Easter is not a big thing here for me, but I think I'm going to do a few Easter baskets. Not a lot. I'm going to do a few. I have some left over from last year. So what I'm going to do is just revamp, go in those bags and redo those bags for, for Easter and then Mother's Day. So I'm going to start on Mother's Day as we speak. So all I'm going to do, I'm a, as I said, my baskets are not tailored to Valentine's Day. Like for this one, the cup in here, the not the cup but the gnome in here have hearts on it which can even go for mother's day i'll be taking like be mine which can you know i could easily pull it out of the um package and you know just flip it for mother's day so i just hop on here guys to tell you guys how my sales went and um don't forget to like comment share and subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my videos or subscribe to my channel please you all subscribe to my channel it helps me out i thank you guys so much i want to thank yummy tea for shouting me out on her channel and allowing my channel to you know to start growing the way i wanted it to grow i want to thank you very much i want to thank all the basket makers out there i can remember everybody lbe Nessa, Boss Lady Fee. Oh my God, there's a lot of basket designers. I can't remember everybody. As I said, Yummy Tea. Oh gosh, I can't remember everybody. All you basket. The reason why those stuck out to me is because I watch those videos, those channels on a regular. I'm not saying I don't watch, you know, your, your channels. I do. But those people, I think they post more and i keep watching them because i keep getting their notifications so i always look forward to see what they have so guys don't forget keep posting videos you might think you know you only have x amount of subscribers or you don't want to post keep posting you don't know who who wants to watch your channel just keep posting and watch your channel grow all right take care you all i have to get something to eat now i'm a little bit hungry take care you all don't forget to like, comment, share, and sus subscribe, and leave comments in the comment section below as to, as I said, how your sales went for this Valentine's Day and what you guys, you know, if it exceeded your expectations, if it, if it didn't, you know, you didn't make the amount of money you were expecting to make. But overall, don't give up, you all. Don't give up. Keep pushing. As I said, Mother's Day is around the corner, Easter is around the corner, and just do what you got to do to get these sales up and your baskets out the door. Take care, you all, and I'll catch you all in another video. Bye.